Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Darkness over here. I wanted to show some gameplay of Black Ops 2, but I mostly just wanted to show some of that to talk about the DLC 5 or Zombies Chronicle price, if it's fair. What I think, why I think it's fair basically. Now, at the beginning I did think it was going to be $20 because I did think that it was just going to be the original maps nothing else included but if you really think about it i wasn't really wrong at all with the whole 20 dollar thing it's 30 dollars by the way but i wasn't wrong because along with that 20 dollars worth map it could be more but it's just being fair 20 dollars worth map you get 20 liquid divinium Divi diviniums whatever um the calling card theme whatever the thing is and I think there's something else, but basically, you get the extra stuff along with the maps, with the eight maps. So, in retrospect, I was right, but I didn't know that we're going to include extra stuff. So, when you really think about it, the price is right on that DLC 5. And this video is going to be talking specifically on that, that's why the title is going to be somewhat like that. But I also basically wanted to go and mention that it is honestly a good deal. Is it too pricey? Not really, honestly. When you really think about it, 8 maps. In multiplayer, we normally get like for $15 of a DLC, we get 4 or 5 maps in a zombies map. We're getting 8 zombies maps and they're all remastered good old maps, you know what I'm saying? probably have new easter eggs we got the reagan mart too we don't have phd fob i don't really care at this point as long as we have the reagan mart too and a couple of good stuff you know what i'm saying that's gucci with me at this point i ain't even gonna swear to i take what i get if you know what i mean we didn't get mob of the dead but you see me crying about it not really i don't give a shit at this point if i really want to have you know phd i'll just go back on my xbox and play with it now here's the thing i want to also bring up too alongside that why they probably didn't do it i mean yeah phd is very useful and stuff and they got the gobble gum for the explosive damage and all that nonsense but hey don't see it not maybe returning now or something but i also do not see it in a way being better i guess than riddles one if you understand what i'm saying and also along that line too, I feel like they should, if they're not thinking about it already, basically make maybe a new app, a new perk introduced along the line that doesn't have to be having a perk bottle, or like, I mean, doesn't have to have a perk machine, but it could be in the one ways, or ha it could have a perk machine to be on it somewhere along the line. And maybe, like, you know, take away, um, Deadshot Daiquiri in certain maps, like Jangle Law, which, by the way, looks amazing, man. Oh my god. This is also why I didn't buy Shangri La on Black Ops 1, because I want it in the PlayStation 4. I'm a better player at Zombies in PlayStation 4, I will have to admit that. It's because I've been more of a PlayStation person honestly when it comes to the controllers more of my preference but i am able to use the you know controllers on playstation i mean xbox so it's like but i am more along the line of i do find preferable the playstation 4 controller at least the feel of it you know what i'm saying but uh, let's go back into a little bit of a uh, talk about the price of a DLC 5 and is it right or not I feel that it is right because we have more stuff included with it and I'm not sure that's only if you pre-order I think it is but you know what even if not I'm pretty sure they're gonna give you that stuff regardless and it just works out marvelously honestly it's eight maps my dude so eight maps I feel has the worth of $20 and then the other thing like the 20 Nick liquid divinium and the calling cards and all that kind of stuff definitely has the value for the other $10 that they basically make of 20 plus 10 you know 30 I feel that's a 
very balanced and well proper thing and of course they included that so it's fair and more fair less people to complain that's perfect honestly i have no complaint about that it's a very good price it's manageable and it's honestly just that damn good so i wanted to make this video too back to back along with the video that i made well before this and i basically just finished editing the description not completely right now but i'm working on it still finishing it up i mean and i do want to say right now that i'm making these back-to-back -back videos this is a short quick video that i wanted to show you i got the blitz to come black blitz on black ops 2 but i basically wanted to give you guys two videos as in because i've been sick haven't been really able to upload a few days and stuff and i've been busy at the same time while being sick and stuff in the house and all that kind of sense so this is basically kind of a solidarity thing but it's not like a, a big crime i just wanted to make it a little bit more fair and in that sense i wanted to give you guys something and along that too because i'm probably not gonna be able to upload anything tomorrow i might be able to have a quick stream on black ops 3 or something that I might and that's still a maybe chance but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but just in case I basically wanted to give you guys this so hope you guys enjoy it you got the gift of darkness man J uh, man I can't do it at Jericho nobody can do that Jericho but I'm gonna try again you got the gift of darkness man link it in man alright so it's basically all I have to say for now, and um, this is as long as I can basically keep my voice from sounding not sick, so we're going to leave it at that before you hear me sneeze or something, so yeah. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy, let's leave it at that, it's been your boy Derek, it's about peace.